Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Our guest tonight has established herself as one of Philadelphia's finest actors. Her movie credits include Beloved in Her Shoes, Ladder 49, and Bill Duke's uh, Daring Independence film cover. With over 40 years of experience, it only made sense that she would go on to start Ascension Galleries, where she shares all that she has learned with those who share that passion. Please help me welcome the very talented Karen Vick. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I mean, you are an actress, producer, acting coach. I mean, when did you develop this love for this industry? As a child. Okay. Uh, my brother and I used to do these little um, shows for the neighbors. Okay. And um, it just, the, the love started there. Okay. Then... Um, Believe it or not, I went to a camp in West Philly, and um, a gentleman said to me, are you interested in acting? Mm. And I said, yeah, I'll try it, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> as if I, you know, really had the uh, opportunity to make the choice. <laughs> Obviously, he talked to my mom and my grandmom, and next thing I knew, I was in New York Street Theater. Oh, wow. That's where... I was introduced to so many different people um, from so many different places, mm -hmm. you know. It was a company uh, for young people by young people. Wow. So Awesome. Always like a family, you know. It was something that you thrived in, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so how did you get to where you're, you know, in Beloved and in her shoes? I mean, how did your career go from starting there to where, you know, has taken you now? Well, I kept at it, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have a BFA from Penn State. Right, uh-huh. Yes. Um, I was on their alumni board for quite a few years as well. Okay. But let me say this. All schools that have performing arts are mm -hmm. phenomenal. Yes. However, it's that it's that real thing that happens when you really have to come out and compete for a job. Right, right, Things yeah. Things get yeah. real, real fast. I can imagine. Know? I can imagine. You know, and things are ever-changing, and you learn that. Mm -hmm. And what you do, well, what I did was, it, it was that, you know, you know what, I'm going to go over here. Right. If I got knocked back... Maybe my ego was hurt a little bit, but then I decided, okay, I've got to do some investigation. You know, mm -hmm. I've got to shore up what I believe is a God-given talent in order to compete so that I can, you know, take that next step, if you will. You exactly. Know what I, mean? I do. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so then I started to um, audition and take workshops from casting directors. If you really want to do what we do, then you go to the source. Absolutely, yes. You know, yes. You, mm -hmm. you, and, and that's what happens. You learn that this is a business. Mm -hmm. yep. And you have to approach it as a business. You know, you learn that my um, head and shoulder shot is more than just a head and shoulder shot. It's my calling card. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. it, it represents me and I represent it. You learn that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, you, you learn that it's not a glamour shot. And does it shock you? Yeah. You know, uh, you look in the mirror and you, make your, you do your makeup the way you see yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not necessarily who you are. Hmm. You know what That's I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, so go ahead. Go right I'll ahead. Say in, a, is a, in a sense, is it showing the casting directors that you can be someone outside of yourself, would you say? You, you do that when you, you are able to um, audition in front of him or her. You know okay. what I mean? Okay, yeah. What that picture represents is, hmm, is she the type I need? See, that's what I mean by that real education, you know? Okay. You uh -huh. learn that it's not necessarily about all this, beautiful talent it's mm -hmm. about what they need when they need it you yes, know sure. what i'm saying makes a lot of sense you know? yeah 
Yeah. You know, and, and sometimes it's being in the right place at the right time. Mm, yes, yes. And, and also, would you say it's also not only who you know, but who you know that likes you, that wants to work there with you? Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yes. You know, the reputation. my thing is always, mm-hmm. I'm only mm-hmm. as good as my next gig. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. You know. Yeah. How would how would you say the industry has changed in forty years? I'm sure I I, I read a uh, well, listened to a uh, speech you gave in February during Black History Month. Um, yes. I can't remember the event, but it was it was so powerful. You know what you were saying. Thank you. Do you want to talk about? Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. What I wanted, uh, I was invited to go to a film exchange program okay. mm-hmm. <laughs> where they highlight independent film, uh, independent directors, you know, uh, independent makeup artists, technical people. They also um, give a forum to those uh, aspiring producers and directors who've done some things and really want to reach out to the community to let them know that I may be doing a project and what I need you to do, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And when he said it, he said, now you can come and you can bring your resume, you can bring, you know, your reel, you know, you can really promote yourself. But then I thought, you know what, this is Black History Month. Yeah. And right now, more than ever, Mm -hmm. I think it's important for us, you know, people of color to understand what that really means. Exactly. And, And those folks who came before us, with us, and who will come after us, and what it means, and how yeah. we'll grow. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So what I did was I sat down actually with my son, and I said, you know what I want? And I, I started talking to him, and he said, you know what? Hold on. We hung up from each other. He called me back. He said, I just sent you something. Okay. It was that speech. Oh, wow. That was powerful. It was powerful because it went through oh the top, God. you know, through the history up until yes. today, you know, today yes. of just where we have come as a people, especially in the arts, and the, and exactly. you recognize the people today who are still living, walking in those shoes, you know. There we go. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Living yeah. their dream, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and we should salute that and aspire to go there also. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, my thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep growing. I, I prefer to keep growing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna always learn. I think sometimes people are shocked um, when they look at the resume and then they see right. me in a uh-huh. workshop, and yeah. it's like, "Are you serious?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm very serious." Because guess what? You can show me something that I forgot. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, Case in point, the Negro Ensemble Company has workshops, and I took one from Charles Weldon, okay. well-known wow. actor, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, stage and screen. Absolutely. And I said, you know, and I'm sitting there and I'm listening to this man and I'm saying, oh my gosh, he just taught me something. Yeah. You gotta be open. Yeah. To receive. Yeah. That's you true. You know what I'm saying? Very you gotta so. be open. Yeah. And and I think that's what what I want to do with Ascension Galleries. I want talented uh, artists that really want to work because Mm -hmm. it's not easy. See, I I don't maintain that it's easy. I used to say, oh, it's so much fun. Well, yeah, it can be. Right. (laughs) But you've got to do the homework. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, put in the work. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you've got to put in the work. And you know what? You may not have success this time, may not have success for five or six times, but maybe on the seventh time, Mm -hmm. people really see you and you shine. Exactly. And that's your gig. And that's that's the way you got to look at it. So let's talk about Ascension Galleries. Well, first of all, obviously you have this experience, you have this resume. Why did you decide that you want to, you know, teach others? What made you decide to, to do that? You know what? I started as a teaching artist. Okay. Um, 
with the Lincoln Institute, and they had a um, what we call a sub base here in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, there was a theater company, the Philadelphia Theater Company. They also have what they call a teaching artist program. I was involved in both. Oh, and wow. what we did was we went around to schools, and I actually had programs where I would incorporate, of course, English, you know, yes. uh-huh. uh, gr- uh, grammar, um, history, science, and math. But it would be in the form of something creative. Okay. And we were we were trained on how to get the students to do it without realizing. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so that's really where it all began for me in terms of actually teaching and or coaching. And I okay. say and or because in this field, I don't know if you can really teach. You know what that I'm saying? That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. There you has to be a I natural mean? ability there. Yeah, yeah. There's, there, it's got to be a spark, man. You know what I right, mean? Yeah. So that I can light that fuse mm-hmm. and then watch that person grow. Um, the thing about, I think, with me, with the teaching, is I started seeing other actors connect. Okay. Okay. And I said, oh, wow. Coming as an actor... And then coaching other actors, when I say I don't know if you can teach, there are many methods. There's the Stanislavski. I mean, I can keep going, okay? (laughs) You know, and you learn that. And then you've got method, and you've got this, and you've got that. And Mm -hmm. there is a sense of uh, feeling that if I can get emotional, then, ooh, I, I think I know where I am. I think it takes a little bit more than that. Yeah. And that's not knocking yeah. anybody who does it, you know, because I think that there's talent that way. I think that this whole field, when you're introducing it to somebody new, is that all of us have something to give you. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you ask me why this, I'm taking all the experience that I have mm-hmm. gained and... I'm kind of giving it to the next person in line. Yeah. Which is how it should be. Don't you think? That's how it should be. Yeah. 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 And and that's my way uh, of connecting, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, And I tell you, I've worked with some amazing people, some that have gone on and done well, some that have kind of given up because it gets tough. And I'm tough. I'm not going to get you. Okay, you know, yeah, um, yeah. Be- because it's tough out there. Right, right. If, you I, if I sugarcoat mm-hmm. it for you, yes. you know what I'm saying? And You're doing you go service. out there. Mm-hmm. Well, not only mm-hmm. that, it's a rude awakening. Oh, yeah. Then you're going to come back and blame me. Right. You, you know? Didn't tell me. Uh, right, why yeah. didn't you tell me so-and-so and so-and-so? You uh, know? Uh, you're going to blame me anyway because nine times out of ten, People don't book right away, and sometimes yeah. they'll book right away, and then they don't get anything for, wow, you know, yeah. however long it is, but it's a pretty mm-hmm. doggone long time. So <laughs> they kind of shift that blame to the person that got them to that level. Right, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so I've learned that, you know. I've, I've really started to understand that. That's why I no longer do classes within Ascension Galleries. I do one-on-one coaching. Okay. Yeah. Where my classes come, my classes come from people inviting me in mm-hmm. to do a workshop, you know, okay. or a class okay. or a seminar, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, normally, I like to work one-on-one where I can really get in there with you and really show you what it means to understand the character you have to portray. That would be very valuable. Very valuable. What exactly. for some for someone that's listening tonight and they, you know, this is what they have a passion for, a desire to do. Mm-hmm. What's what's their step? What's the next step? Is it education? Is it education, or what? What do they need to do next? Well, when you say is it education, it's always education. Okay. Yeah. And you know, um, I'm old school, so yeah, my BFA was was the bomb. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But this is a new day. 
I say, go as far as least your masters. Okay. Okay. You see, you gain respect in the theater world by the school you come from mm -hmm. and the fact that you picked up that extra lambskin. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? So now you've kind of knocked off some stuff. Mm -hmm. When you say, how does one educate? I say, that's one education. And then there's education. Yes. Meaning, <laughs> now do your homework. Yeah. You know, yeah. learn what type you are and then seek those casting directors that usually hire within that realm. Now, is it easy getting to a casting director? Yes and no. Okay, sometimes it, they'll, they'll do an open call, but frankly, it's for maybe a, an hour or a half hour. You're not likely to get that. So your best bet is to do a lot of what you want to do. In other words, do some independent theater. Mm -hmm. Do some independent film. I'm not saying to you, do it for free all the time. Right. What yeah. I'm saying, you know, put in, we, we always say I paid my dues. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. In this field, you're going to pay your dues and pay your dues and pay your dues. <laughs> Keep on paying them. <laughs> you understand what I'm yes. saying? Yes, ma'am, I uh, do. And, and I have credits, and I'm still paying my Brand dues. dues. Yes. Uh -huh. See, and that's the kind of, you know, that's, that's the field this is. So right. when you say education, I say, yeah, there's education, the formal, mm -hmm. but then there's education, learn your craft. Yeah, absolutely. Which absolutely. means learn the people that are involved in it. Learn directors. Mm -hmm. You know, learn production companies. You know, what's the proper <laughs> etiquette just to introduce yourself? Exactly. You've got to do yeah. that. Yeah. You've got to do that. Then you get a few credits and then you go for um, an agent and or management. Okay. Okay. Those are the people that really will get you through the door because that's what they do. Absolutely. Absolutely. See, they introduce you to their clients. Well, now that door is opened a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're exceptional and you did what you were supposed to do, then that means that director and or producer and or director of the immediate film is more apt to then throw your name to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See? You're dropping dimes tonight. <laughs> You're giving Just a little knowledge. bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a what, little bit. What would be an ideal student or actor that you would be interested in working, working with at Ascension Galleries? Someone who's willing to work hard. Okay. Someone who loves the craft, okay, and is really willing to put the work in. It's so important. It's so important. It, it's so important. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's when I go all out. Because you can because sense I'm it. Saying, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And they can come to me and they show it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's not enough to become this person that you're not. We mm -hmm. are storytellers. And the first thing you learn how to do is tell a story. Absolutely. Even if it's a monologue. The monologue. This is what I learned from Charles Weldon. The monologue should be a story. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. You see? That mm -hmm. the audience says, wow, I got it. They can they see it. They may not yeah. have ever seen, you know, the production or, or the movie or the TV show. But if you handle it as if it's a story. Mm. That makes That's a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yes. Well, tell everyone where we can learn more about you. You have a great website that has a lot of information, and of course, uh, Ascension Galleries. Right. You said tell you some more about it, or? Oh no, I'm sorry. No, tell us where we can learn uh, more about you and Ascension Galleries. I have the website here. It's uh, yeah, Go go, go right to the website. Okay. You know, uh, contact me if you like. 
you know, I have Skype classes. Oh, that's awesome. You know, those are for my people that are not obviously in yeah. my area. Okay, yeah. You know, um, but I'm a coach that comes to you as well, especially in okay. the summertime. That's awesome. You know, I, I use my studio, but usually it's when I have uh, somebody saying, listen, I'd like to do a class. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. then the studio becomes, you know, where I go. Um, but normally it's a one-on-one -on -one in an intimate setting. Awesome. And that's, I mean, any aspiring or, or actor out to now that's looking for that extra boost and that help and that guidance, this is where you need to be, Ascension, <laughs> Ascension Galleries, because, I mean, that's, just That's what I believe, yeah. I mean, just talking to you, that's like I need to start acting. <laughs> I, need to, I need to sign up <laughs> well, look, Karen thank you so much for joining us tonight I thank you so much just for the information that you were able to provide our listeners and I encourage everyone to go to your website which will be on our website at stephenisshow.com for more information on how to get in touch with Karen to learn more about uh, Ascension Galleries thank you so much Karen thank you so much thank you, you, a, thank you for having me thank you so much and uh, we'll be right back after this.